You guys, it's snowing. Not a lot, but it's snowing. It's 8 a.m. I just woke up. I'm not starting the vlog yet because I have not edited Vlogmas yesterday. So let me do that. See you in a bit. <laughs> Okay. Which eye were you having the issue with? My left. My left. Hi guys. Good morning, afternoon. No, yeah, it's still morning. It's eleven. I've had a pretty slow moving morning over here. And you can tell my I haven't drank my drink yet. I set my alarm for six forty five. Because yesterday I meant to sleep in and then I woke up naturally at 6.45. So I was like, oh, I must just be waking up at 6.45 now. And then I set my alarm for 6.45 and I was like, there's no way. So I like turned it off and then um, I woke up at 8 and I was like, this feels good. So I, woke, I got up at 8 and that's when I looked outside, saw that it was snowing. And then I went to go um, edit Vlogmas. So when I recorded that clip earlier today, that was like the first words that I spoke when I got up, out of bed. I did a vlog miss and then you guys saw the rest came downstairs cleaned up a little bit around the house ate some little breakfast and then um i've just been doing some work down here i just wanted to do it on my couch this morning because the vibe is right down here today so um today what do we have going on it's 11 12 right now i have lunch with a friend at 1 30 and i'm so excited for this lunch um, but I'm so excited. So going to True Food, which is one of my favorite restaurants and I haven't been there in a long time. So I'm so excited to go. Um, and then I'm going to the bank. Yes, big day for me. It's bank day, everyone. I'm going to the bank today. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I have a call with my printers at five. And um, I wanted to go to Stride tonight, but I also have to record a podcast episode. So we will see if I can make it to stride because that podcast episode really needs to be recorded today. So I'm going to use this time to make my playlist that I for tomorrow morning because I'm teaching spin on Fridays 9:30 now. Um, so I'm going to make my playlist for tomorrow morning and um, 
start planning out my podcast that I'm gonna record later today. And then go to lunch, and then go to the bank, and then have the call, and then do the podcast, and then hopefully five time go to stride. I think I can do it all. That's my plan is to do it all today. But slow moving morning over here, and I think it's slow moving because all the stress that I was feeling from my printers earlier in the week, and honestly the last couple of weeks since I launched, has been pretty diminished because most of the orders have been all shipped out. There's a couple random ones that haven't been and I don't understand why, um, which is very confusing. So I have a call with my printer later today, so I'm gonna ask him about that. And I have a, I just have a couple of like questions. So that will all be sorted out today, but I think I've been like able to just like really breathe and like relax um so that feels nice um but i'm sure i'm going to start stressing out again once people start getting their orders because i don't know that's just how i operate um yeah so that's just what i'm doing today so it felt really really nice to sleep in there's snow on the ground but now it's turned to rain so it's all just melting um but next week it's supposed to snow six inches next thursday we'll see but I don't remember the last time we've ever had a white Christmas, so hopefully it was like the first ever white Christmas on the opening vlog, but it's like, ah, can't even make it up. And I need to go to the post office, but I'm gonna go, I think tomorrow. My road peptides are there, and I really want them. <laughs> my outfit I still haven't even put on contacts contacts yet but I have to go soon oh my god that's with this scarf I want to wear it again I think I want that scarf just with let's just keep it simple let's do leggings in movements TNA socks my puffer my big jacket I thought I had a tight white shirt, but it must be dirty. Flowy Lulu shirt. Uggs. Yeah, that works. We'll do that. That's what we'll do. Athletic wear is so easy to piece together. I just can't piece together real people clothes outfits like that. And you know why? I think it's just because of the jeans. Like the bottoms always throw me off and I don't always want to wear leggings, but I can't always figure out what to wear if not leggings. And I need a nude sports bra. I mean, I could wear white, but that's like a sheer fabric, so you'd see the white through it. And I need to take a shower really quick. I'm not gonna wash my hair though. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow. But I need to take a shower because I was looking at my Vlogmas footage from yesterday and my tan is just like so aggressive on my neck and it's just not matching my face very much. So I need to like scrub my neck in the shower just now. I don't know where all of my beanies went. Like I had them and then I moved and now I feel like I've like lost all of my beanies. I need to figure out what I want to do with my hair today because maybe I'll just put it back in the place. That's always just so easy. I love the air doctor. I keep one in Harry's room and it's just wonderful. Making sure his hair is clean enough. Naga thing. And that doesn't affect the way that I see uh what's her name? Kylie. Um mm. Kylie, Kendall, Chloe. Like it's really just Kim for me. And I just feel like Kim keeps posting like all this mindless shit. Thinking mm -hmm. that like that's usually a good PR strategy. Like it's what Ariel yeah. Charnas said, like it is good, like just keep the conversation going. But like Everything she posts, I'm just like...
respecting her legacy and, and not just totally destroying it. Yeah. Also, fun fact is that in the Copies Notes that are part of this archive, they have the original version of Hallelujah, which is 82 verses. It's giving moments of heaven version. The large love is not a victory. Like, what does that song even mean? Honestly. So seeing Christine go probably gave her the courage and I won't be surprised if Mary goes next. I don't know why I feel like Mary and him got divorced. Damn, that's rough. Like, no, I'm, I, I had to be. Okay, I'm on my way to the bank and I'm late, whatever. Whatever, I ran a quick errand in between, um, ouch, my arm just went numb. I ran a quick errand in between um, lunch and the bank, so I'm running late, but literally doesn't matter. But I have run into a problem. I have no idea where my ID is. And that's a problem, right? Like, I always keep it in my wallet and it's always in the same place and it's not in there so i'm thinking maybe it's in my boyfriend's wallet because we do that sometimes because i'll like go out and i'm like oh put my id in there so it's either in oh no i i know where it is it's in my belt bag and i feel like i need my id for this appointment maybe i should just call the bank really quick figure out if I need my ID. Cause I'm gonna go all the way there and then they're gonna say, you need your ID. I'm gonna call my mother. Hello. Hello. How are you? Do I need my ID for the bank? Probably. I don't have it, it's at home. Oh. I have, yeah, a, probably I have a scan of my ID. I don't know if they're going to let that go. They're probably going to ask you for it. Oh my god. Well, I guess I can stop home. I'm driving by my house. I guess I'll just have to get it. Yeah. I, I think you should probably have it with you. My appointment was I, eight minutes ago. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, just go anyway. Alright, then I guess I'm just going to stop at home and grab my ID. Yeah, I think you'll probably need it. <sighs> I'm going to be so late to the bank. What the Dang, why do you need a freaking appointment for the bank? It's the bank. It's the bank. I have every reason to just totally skip this appointment right now, but I can't because my accountant is literally going to call me at 4 30 and be like, What are the bank numbers? So I need that for her. Honestly, thank God for my accountant because I would have just skipped the bank. Raining, don't have my ID. I know I needed my ID for the errand that I just ran, and I was like, I don't have it, but I have a scan of it. And they're like, Okay, let me see it. Look, it says stride in my bank. You guys, I did it. I went to the bank, but I have bad news. I have to go back to the freaking bank tomorrow. Here's the thing. I, it takes like so long to set up a business bank account. Like literally it's an hour long appointment and I have to sign like three pieces of paper, but it takes like an hour to get those. It just takes so long. I just wonder like, what are they doing on the computer? But it just takes forever. So anyway, I went to the bank, but I have to go back tomorrow because I didn't bring checks with me to deposit money into my new account. I don't know why that thought literally did not even like cross my mind to bring checks in. I don't, I don't really understand, but it didn't. So I have to go back tomorrow, which is fine, but now I have my bank account, which I need to tell my accountant all the details of it and then I had a call at five but that ran over the bank like ran over so um I got on my call like a little bit later and I just took it in my car outside of the bank and now it's 5 40 and I'm going to um record my podcast episode 
and it's already 5.45, so I'm not gonna make it to stride tonight, which is sad. I wanted to do, do it all, but this is gonna take like an hour. And then by the time I got there, the workshop would have already started, so I would have missed it, which really just like sucks. Like I did not wanna miss it. So I went to True Food today and I was like, can I have a matcha latte? And they have something on their menu called a matcha haracha, which is a matcha latte. It's just a fancy version of a matcha latte. And I'm at True Food, which is like a health restaurant. I'm like, can I have a matcha latte? And All the right. guy's like, a what? And I'm like, a matcha latte. And he was like, a, ma a what? And I'm like, a matcha latte. And he was like, I'll ask if we can make that. I was like, okay. And then I was like, if not, like I'll take a cappuccino. So he comes back and he was like, I don't even remember what it was called, a matcha? And I was like, <laughs> matcha? Like, and then I was like, it's on your menu, like a matcha haracha. He goes, oh, okay, I'll just ask if they can make that. And they brought it out. It's like, they also brought out a cappuccino though. It was so weird. It was so So bizarre. what happened? Which one did you get? Both. Did you both. have to pay for both? Yeah. You just let it happen? Yeah. It was <laughs> so it was so weird. Like if I feel like if you work at Trifidi you should know what matcha is. And if you're confused what a matcha latte is, a matcha haracha is a matcha latte. It was very bizarre. It was like so weird. At true food? At true food. Yeah, I'm gonna record this, take off my makeup, change into sweats, and then I'll cook for us. So don't eat. Holy shit, the morning temperatures for Christmas? Well, yeah, did you see Zero all... degrees in Hazleton, eight degrees Allentown, eight degrees Reading, eight degrees Harrisburg. What about here? I don't fucking know. My dad just took a screenshot of the fucking... You see all the snow that's coming next week? How much? Six inches on Thursday in this area. Six inches Thursday. You two said inches. eight, right? Six inches Thursday, two <laughs> inches on Friday. So that's eight total. Hell yeah. That's going to be awesome. I think we're going to have a white Christmas. Which means we need a shovel. Yeah. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Manifest with Tori D. Simone. I'm your host, Tori D. Simone, and Happy New Year! Happy 2023. Okay, we're gonna make dinner. Hey, do you want this cut up in a bit, or? Yeah, chunks. Cool. Just bite size, please. Oh my God, these chicken breasts are huge. I know, they're huge. What is that? I don't know, I'm not gonna <laughs> The fuck is this thing? Do you see this? What is this? It's just paper, you don't no, need to worry about it. It's like thick. Why is it so thick and juicy? So that the chicken juices absorb into that and don't bleed through the styrofoam. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm making chicken stir fry. No, no music. <laughs> um, Plus there's like it's nice just being in silence. Oh, I feel like we've be been around noise all day, don't you think? More. Can't we just be in silence for a little bit? Don't mind me, just cutting chicken. <laughs> How small do you want these? Babe, bite-sized chunks. All right, I got you. No, just... that's the third time you've asked. You're asking, I have to ask a couple times, you know? Just so you know. But you know because I told you. But I forgot. <laughs> there. <laughs> Can I throw those in the pan yet? The chicken? Yeah. Yes. It's heated up ready for you. Do you want me to um, season with anything? No, you don't need to. What do you, what do you, uh, what's the seasoning? Stir fry sauce. Stir fry sauce? What is that? Like soy sauce, brown sugar, sesame oil. It's good. That sounds fucking dope. Yeah. What are you doing with all those jalapenos? They're peppers, not <laughs> jalapenos. <laughs> They're literally are way red. Smaller. They're literally red bell peppers. Yeah. Well, what do you want me to do? The one that's heated up with the oil on it. Looking good. Now we're making cookies and watching the Santa Clauses. Stir fry was fine. It just wasn't really what I was in the mood for. You know what I mean? It was fine though. The and I are watching the Santa Clauses and um, just hanging out. Okay, I have to show you something and I don't know if you already know this or not, but I need to get, I need to show you something regardless. Ready? <sighs> 
is stunning. When I win our turkey dinner. Hi, I'm Kelly Riley, and I play Beth Dutton on Yellowstone. You can't talk to me like that. Yeah. Watch the scenario. Better have a big pistol on. in that purse. I do. It's called my name. Beth Dutton, what's yours? <coughs> People call me Beth. They'll come to me and they'll be uh, like wanting to high five me or <laughs> or British? start a fight. <laughs> yes. It's really interesting how people huh? believe that you're your character. She's I'm British. Stab you in the eye Did you book. know that? No. This is the first time I've talked about her properly. It's such a Hopefully. personal She's process British. as well. And That's people crazy. to hear me talk about her, I think, is sort of um, different as well because they have such a. Are you not blown is. away by this? Like when I found out, like I was blown away. Well, British people, like we could do a British accent, they could do an American accent. Go ahead, do a British accent. The way I played that role. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not an actor. That was like Southern. On the spot, I just don't feel like doing it. I can do Australian. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Australian. I could do Australian. No. Oh, do Irish. Oh, I could do British more than Irish, probably. Come on, lads. I can't do it. Patty the Batty. Patty the Batty. You know who else is British? Who? Huh. The guy that played Ethan on The White Lotus. Oh, I knew that. Would you bring me a new um, battery? Whenever you come over next. Maybe. Yeah. Bitch, come over. We live together. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my current Wordle sitch. The X's are just placeholders. Wait, what was the hint again? The hint was a lot of people aspire to go and do this nowadays. Oh, I know it. Right. Viral. Wait. It was rival. <laughs> what the hell? I knew it was one of those. What the hell? You literally just. I did it hours ago. What do you want from me? You literally sabotaged my stats. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. someone got it. You fucking do it, Bubba. Are we charging people? That's not what we do. The camera hates me. I'm that it actually fucking went through with that guy. I like, can't believe someone got their copy of the manifest platter. That's so crazy. Oh my god, I hope it's like printed right. Like, I wish I saw what they have. New Santa is destroying Christmas